much smarter than that. So, how I thought we would start this evening off is I'd give you my initial impressions of Ohio State, 7 and 0, doing a pretty good job. That's right, 7 and 0. It's not the prettiest 7 and 0, but that doesn't matter. It's 7 and 0. Compared to where we were last year, we're still 7 and 0. So that's good. I think that last year I had the chance, I don't know if many of you knew this, or if you didn't, some of you probably did, I had the chance to work with Irvin Meyer in a broadcast booth. He's a great guy, he's a good man, he's, he's doing a, a really good job. He's done wonders with the offense. For whatever reason, it's obvious, and we'll get into reasons why, or, or theories why, the defense is struggling, it's struggling mightily. But, when you look at the development of the offense, especially Braxton Miller, I mean, I made a statement before the season started that this team is going to be as good as Braxton Miller and the improvements that he's made. Everybody knew he could run the ball, which was evident last year if you watched the game, but the improvements that he's made throwing the ball has been outstanding. Also, the young receivers are playing better than I thought they would play. During the spring ball, I mean, we can line up um, 